This is a crochet tutorial regarding making a gauge swatch. Normally for a crochet pattern, the designer will recommend a crochet hook size for a given thickness of yarn. If you are making a garment, this is especially important for you to make the swatch. What this does is it checks for your particular tension. So even though you are recommended a crochet hook size, you still need to check this. What happens is, if your tension is too tight, you will end up with a garment that is too small. The other side is true as well. If your tension is too loose, you will end up with a garment that is too big. So we have examples here. I have used 7, 8, 9, 10 millimeter crochet hooks for super chunky yarn. As you can see, the width and the length of these swatches will differ and this will depend on the crochet hook size, the thickness of yarn, and your personal tension. For example, the designer has specified that the gauge of 10 cm by 10 cm needs 8 double crochet, and this is in US terms, by 5 rows. What I would normally do is I would make 10 double crochet in every row and I start off with chaining. So if I need 10 double crochet, I need 10 chains plus 2 chains as your turning chain. So that gives me 12 chains. And the second chain from the hook, I do my first double crochet. So in every row, I have 10 double crochet. And at the end of each row, for example here, I'm going to turn my work, chain 2, and then double crochet 10 times in that next row. And I do this several more times. So here's an example. So I will need to check the tension for this particular swatch. So I need to measure along each row, counting the number of stitches, as well as measuring along the length, which is counting the number of rows that will fit within the 10 centimeter swatch. So I would normally make a few of these swatches using different crochet hook sizes. And then after checking the gauge for every swatch, I will simply pick that particular crochet hook size that comes closest to the ideal swatch. Now sometimes I end up with so many swatches and I can't seem to get the particular ideal number of stitches for a number of rows. So for example, if I'm making a sock, so what I would normally do if that happens is I aim for the perfect number of stitches for every row and adjust the pattern accordingly. So for example, if my tension is too tight, I simply increase the number of rows in making that sock. Now hopefully when you make your gauge swatch, you do get the ideal number of stitches for the number of rows. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.